the entire Chinese EV market has been going crazy. To be honest, one of the companies that people are ignoring for some bizarre reason is Geely. Their EV sales this year are up 173%. But Geely is still lagging behind someone else in terms of percentage growth anyway. And that someone else is XPEG. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. What am I talking about? I mean, really, XPeng one year ago was in trouble. Everyone was seeing the writing on the wall. And all of a sudden, things have drastically changed. In fact, XPeng sales rose 224% in June 2025 compared to June 2024. That's remarkable. And I don't think anyone th saw this coming. However, for all of Q2, three months, XPeng sales were up 242% compared to the same period last year. That growth is remarkable. XPeng had 34,600 deliveries in the month of June and 103,000 deliveries across the second quarter. That puts the company on track for more than 400,000 sales this year. Additionally, June was the eighth month in a row that XPeng had more than 30,000 deliveries in the month. Now, looking at this chart from Clean Technica, you can see the rise of XPeng over the past six months, actually, in fact, the past 10 months has been pretty damn incredible. In the first half of 2025, XPeng has delivered 197,200 vehicles. That's more than XPeng delivered in all of 2024. So a, an incredible result. It's worth pointing out as well that um, competition has only gotten worse. I mean, BYD has slashed prices by crazy numbers. Uh, Xiaomi have brought out the new YU7. You know, use, I mean, really, you've got great cars. You've got the Zika 7X on sale. There's so many rivals. And it seems like there's a new, a new EV being revealed every second week. So to succeed in this market, Holy hell, guys, you, you've got to be doing something right. XPeng had some other highlights as well. Here's what XPeng said. XNGP achieved a monthly active user penetration rate of 85% in urban driving in June 2025. That's their full self-driving. Most recently, XPeng was invited to present its advancements in foundational models for autonomous driving at the 2025 Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition, the sole Chinese automotive company, to receive this industry distinction. Um, XPeng is clearly one of the automotive industry leaders in terms of self-driving, but they're definitely not up to Tesla's level yet. They're certainly kind of pushing towards that level though. On June 19, 2025, XPeng launched its flagship model, the XPeng X9, and they launched actually, actually the launch of that particular car in China. I've got to say, I think it's one of the best cars you can buy. And it's certainly not expensive. I mean, it's around 60,000 US dollars for, in what in many ways might be the best luxury MPV you can buy, which is incredible. In addition, XPeng are expanding to 40 countries. In fact, more than 40 countries uh, worldwide. They've already expanded to them, in fact. So for, I believe 42 countries now where you can buy XPeng vehicles. I didn't realize that XPeng had expanded that much. I didn't realize they're in so many countries already. I thought um, they're in a few European countries, but more than 40 countries is, is remarkable. XPeng are actually saying that what they want to do is 50% of their sales approximately should come from China, 50% of their sales approximately should come from the rest of the world. So they're certainly focusing quite a lot on right-hand drive production, on getting cars out to global markets, not just, follow, not just focusing on Chinese consumers. I think that's a smart strategy. Now, guys, comparing Neo and XPeng, you can see XPeng is it's still losing money, but much less. And it's on track towards hitting profitability potentially in the fourth quarter of this year based on current projections. Of course, Neo is not. They're losing close to a billion dollars a quarter, and their sales numbers are lower than XPeng. So out of these two companies, I think it's very clear that XPeng is the clear leader just based on data this year, but based on other things excitement around the brand, excitement around their flying cars, excitement around their flying drone, you know, excitement around their new P7, which is just ridiculously awesome, and their self-driving features. 
at this point in time, well, guys, maybe I'm just justifying the fact that I bought an XPeng G6. Or maybe not. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. Ten thousand orders in forty-six minutes, but that does not do this car justice, not at all, because this is the most advanced car we've ever seen from China. It has literally twenty-six times more computing speed and power than what its rivals have. Twenty-six times. It has it has eight times more power than Tesla's full self-driving supercomputer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric viking great to have you with us xping g7 it's here finally when i was in china they they were saying that one of the reasons for this car being delayed was that um the advanced new batteries that enable this car to charge at about 600 kilowatt charging speeds weren't quite ready yet they are ready now now this car can charge in 12 minutes but that's not really the biggest thing about this vehicle that is getting people talking in China. There's been a whole lot of hype, a whole lot of talking in China about this vehicle because it doesn't have a screen in front of the driver. It's like a Tesla, right? But it does have one in a different way. The reason that Xpeng have removed that front screen right in front of the driver, that LCD screen, is because it has the world's largest artificial intelligence heads-up display. The display kind of covers almost the entire front windscreen and but it doesn't cover it all it just shows you things on the road so it's like you're driving in a virtual reality simulator almost almost like having a map across your windscreen i've used heads up displays but nothing like this this is a, a an entirely different level of technology so what this the size of this display is you can see here the images and how it works it doesn't actually block the whole screen it just shows you certain things but it's 87 inches this is the biggest ever 87 inch display projected onto the front windscreen which is miles better than having a little digital screen right in front of you where you've got to kind of look down at it to see what speed you're going do this sort of thing kind of take your eyes off the road i think this is the future i think the future of the automotive industry is having these kinds of artificial you know ar type screens projected onto your windscreen price it's going to start at 32,000 us dollars some people say they think it will actually come down in price when it actually, right now, you can only place a pre-order, but they say when pricing goes live, when the actual deliveries go live, the price will drop, they think, to potentially around 28000 US dollars. But keep in mind, this is a big vehicle. It's actually significantly bigger than the Xpeng G6. The G7 is 4.9 meters long. It's about 15% bigger 